Hi everybody. Uh, okay, here uh, I don't need to talk about the current state of the economy right now, and uh, this is a very important video, and uh, I have some uh, very important links that you need to go look at, and then you have to make your own decision on what you need to do. Uh, there was a media blackout uh, by CNN, Fox, and uh, MSNBC who ignored the 50,000 uh, protesters uh, during the U.S. Day of Rage uh, at the uh, stock exchange. And uh, as you see here, uh, you see one of the protesters there. Um, about uh, the, what the sign says, the goal is to bring peace, uh, unity with a touch of equality. It says most Americans are being kept in the dark about the day of rage by the corporate uh, medias um, during a uh, um, blackout on the protest. Even though an estimate 50,000 protesters have flooded into Manhattan for a nonviolent dis disrupt to the disloyal incompetent and corrupt special interests which have usurped our nation's civil and military power, uh, spawning a host of threats to our liberties, lives, and national security. And this uh, has become uh, too much of a familiar scene. As for example, in Wisconsin, and I've brought this up a few times, about hundreds of thousands of regular people took to the street each weekend to protest the theft of their rights and were completely ignored. Uh, the Sarah Palin's uh, Iowa Tea Party speech was one uh, 50th as big as the Wisconsin process that she deemed worthy of national uh, media coverage. And not only that, um, what they're probably covering up are the race riots there in Wisconsin. And the uh, uh, the kowtowing of the uh, uh, corporate media to the uh, conservative uh, agenda continued last week as CNN uh, climbed in bed in with the Tea Party Express to host a Republican presidential debate that choked a uh, full rhetoric about how taxes must be cut to protect the same job creators who crashed the U.S. economy in 2008. And this should give you a heads up and continue to reap uh, records uh, profits by sitting on bailout money and not hiring any new workers. And so I'll leave the rest for you to read because there's uh, other things that I need to cover. Um, there's a lot that they're, they're really covering up about the truth, what's going on in these uh, demonstrations. Um, but there could be a civil war uh, breaking out here due to the faltering economy and plus uh, another war on the horizon. But um, we'll, we'll have to see there. Uh, uh, there's not really much more I can say on that. Um, now here's a, another article about President Obama's visit to Colorado in late September. and said that he wasn't really there to talk about uh, jobs for the uh, Colorado people there and uh, but that was what they were looking forward to but instead that Obama it says here that instead of working to put uh, Coloradoans back to work Obama is backing um, back to uh, fundraising in Denver to save his own job Okay, how's that for you, America? <laughs> it's telling him that uh, the President Obama has found that the, uh, was the big Western fundraising thing, but nearly three years ago, basically, he hadn't found the time to formulate a plan to put Americans back to work and look at our economy now. Um, Obama, and then this is a... Uh, very ironic. Um, Obama prepared for martial war during hyperinflation. <laughs> and he wanted, w wants to work on a, an American job, I huh? uh, Oh, well. Um, 
it's obviously uh, yeah, you see that picture is very appropriate, and uh, this is a very, very important article. It's kind of a long, lengthy article, and you, you really need to read this, uh, I mean, if you're really concerned about the economy. Uh, basically, this is uh, President Obama did sign an executive order, uh, establishment of the Council of Governors. I wonder what that's all about. Uh, which Obama claims in order to strengthen further the partnership between the federal government and the state governments to protect our nation and its people and proper property like they really care. And it's orders that a council be created of the 10 state governors appointed by the president who will meet to exchange information uh, with the Security of Defense, the Secretary of Homeland Security, and other government officials related to the military. Welcome to your new world order and your one world government, because that's what they're working for. They're looking to, and and uh, yeah, that's what they're they're working uh, for. Um, yeah, it just makes me, you know, really upset. But why get upset? You know, it's it's going to come to pass, and you know, it's just property pro prophecy coming to pass. Um, the See, their meetings also concern matters involving the National Guard for various states, Homeland Defense, civil uh, support. Uh, well, they're wrapping up on the police state, that's for sure. Synchronization and integration of state and federal military activities in the United States and other matters, and so on and so forth. Uh, then it went in and talked, the article talked about. Um, how devastating that the um, Hurricane uh, Irene was. This is that the most shocking uh, FEMA debacle is when they decided to give out thousands of debit cards to, to the, uh, about two thousand dollars on them to the Hurricane Katrina victims. Many people ended up using these debit cards uh, at strip dubs, and this is a jail escapee convicted of murder was even able to say that uh, he was a Hurricane Katrina victim and get and gets a free $2,000 FEMA debit card which he used to buy beer and drugs with before play, uh, paying a limo driver to transfer him far out of the region and so on and a, a Red Cross volunteer was convicted in jail for stealing $250,000 worth of these cars and so on I mean it's yeah, it's pretty bad, and uh, I was looking at for that part about, yeah, the part of what they were talking about, as bad as uh, Hurricane Irene was, it was nothing compared to the devastation and destruction that would be caused by a different kind of flooding from Obama and the Federal uh, Reserve uh, Chairman Ben Bernanke. Obama and Burbank Navy has flo uh, been flooding the world with trillions of U.S. dollars with the false belief that because the Treasury yields have been falling to a record low, Obama can run trillions of dollar budget deficits with Bernanke leaving the federal funds uh, rates near zero forever. And their actions are setting up the next major U.S. financial crisis, which will be a mess price inflation that eventually results in hyperinflation and leads the government to price controls and the empty store shelves in uh, Patterson from um, Hurricane Irene are finally being uh, replenished now that the flooded water is had resided. Unfortunately, the empty store shelves that were uh, arise from hyperinflation and government price controls will be permanent. But there's a whole lot more, so um, I'm going to move forward. Okay, the world economy, um, you think we're having it bad here, they, actually the whole world economy is really feeling it also. And uh, it says in Europe that the slower growth will make it harder for stress nations to get their debt under control. The U.S. and European policymakers uh, must act more decisively to cut budget deficits. And the European banks need to uh, boost their uh, capital uh, buffers 
more quickly and beyond the new minimum levels said to come into force by uh, 2019. And it's, you know, all, all I'm asking, especially those like Japan, you know, that's been hit by de a devastating um, earthquake and tsunamis, that the U.S. economy faces longer by some problems that go beyond higher gas prices and disruptions that were caused by the Japanese crisis and so on. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, the poor Japanese people, I mean, uh, they're going through the worst themselves, but they're, they're picking, trying to pick themselves up, but it's very hard. And a lot of the countries that are being hit by disasters, uh, it's, they're feeling the effects. And here's, uh, I want to give thanks to uh, Make Electric for this. Uh, this is the world markets. That's uh, the indexes that ended uh, today. This is the North and South American markets are sharply lower today with shares in Mexico off the most. And uh, I heard that a while back that the uh, United States better be cautious because when Mexico starts going down along with, uh, I think it was uh, Argentina, Brazil, and Chile, the South American countries, you just be better be careful. And I'm just going to tell you, tell you guys that, you know, make your decision what you need to do about your finances right now. And it's really that crucial right now. Um, okay, and here's uh, the, uh, uh, I may have to uh, talk about the Obama job bill and what's really behind it uh, in, a, in another video because I think I'm running out of time here. Um, here's a, here's a, a um, this is a TV show called Jericho uh, that may give a clue to about, because the, what the Illuminati does is they put clues in TV shows and things about what will, is going on, especially like with the Denver thing. So, and I give thanks to MK Electric, Electric for this link also. So thumbs up to you, MK. And uh, so, yeah, check this out. And Uh, the earth groans, or is this uh, her warfare, or the strange sound phenomena? Um, with all of the underground tunnels and the, the blasts uh, that are underneath the earth, this may have something to do with it. Uh, the earth gro the groans, uh, well, if the poor earth is groaning with all the, the things that man is doing to her, uh, then I can understand, you know, um, it's, well, anyway, um, it, look at this awful thing, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave the links to so you can go and read them, it's, uh, it's something worth reading about that also, and, uh, New articles about Israel to be attacked from the north by Turkey. Okay, Turkey is mentioned in prophecy by the prophecy uh, about one of the nations that will come against Israel in the end times. And it uh, sounds like that is equal 38 and 39 is very close. Okay, uh, like I said I'm running really close uh, to the end and I need to, I want to talk about uh, what's going to happen with the Obama jobs bill. So I'll talk to you uh, over in the next video. Uh, Y'all take care. And uh, if you don't join me, then God bless you all. And Jesus loves you. Give you life to him today. Life is short and um, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.